With respect to local content, Nigeria has made a huge progress. Huge progress with respect to retention of money within Nigeria, money that would otherwise uh, have left the shores of the country. And also huge progress with, res with respect to getting Nigerian companies to get their hands dirty, uh, providing services to the industry. If you've heard of Pitan, Pitan is a petroleum technologies and service providers in Nigeria. They've had a lot of opportunity to work within the sector and also to retain a lot of revenue within Nigeria uh, based on the implementation of the local content uh, activity. Also, there are other, other industries. For instance, if you look at a company like this company that makes wire, Coma, you understand? A lot of the progress they've made is also, I mean, also have to do with opportunities they have, which would otherwise would not have been there if there was no local content law. And also the East implementation uh, framework. Also, we have some modular refineries. For instance, we have Walter Smith. We have some other refineries that are coming up, which are made possible based on the level of investment that the local content board is able to make into those projects based on uh, funds that are collected under the uh, Nigerian Content Fund. So there has been good progress, really. Well, the presidential order will make it better. Right, will make it better. It's basically returning the board back to the intention of the law and also trying to close out the opportunity for arbitrage. It's trying to close out the opportunity for arbitrage so that people who have equipment and who have the technical know-how, who are Nigerians, can actually keep working, right? And also make it possible for for there not to be any slowdown in project execution. Uh, because sometimes many of these foreign service providers, they don't see the incentive or the reason why they should associate or do certain projects you know, uh, with Nigeria. Sometimes it does not even, I mean, if we insist on it, sometimes it does not meet their internal transparency approval process. Because the question is, why do you need to combine with this particular country sometimes? You know? So with this particular company for purpose of executing this project. So what the other will do is to take that out and make things better for purpose of implementing the act.